Type 2 diabetes is a chronic condition with far-reaching consequences. For decades, the medical community has focused on managing its symptoms, primarily high blood sugar, while the root causes have remained unaddressed. In Shanghai, China, a biotech company is redefining the fight against type 2 diabetes. Hua Medicine is a biotech company created to looking into a solution to cure diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is a silent killer. When people get it, they don't feel it. So uh, diabetes education become a most important thing. Some complications of type 2 diabetes are vision loss, pediatric foot ulcers, cardiovascular disease, kidney failures, and even cognitive decline. Although type 2 diabetes is ranked number eight globally as the cause of death, its complications are ranked high as well. Cardiovascular disease, stroke, are ranked number one and number three, respectively, and kidney disease is ranked number nine as global cause of death. We have 540 million patients suffered from diabetes. Out of this, there were 90% are type 2 diabetes. And type 2 diabetes are the patients who lost their insulin secretion capability gradually and also have the insulin resistance. When the type 2 diabetes patients get their problems on insulin secretion and the insulin resistance, the major reason is they lost the function of glucokinase. Glucokinase is a protein acting as a glucose sensor. Once the glucose sensor loses the function, our body will not know how the blood glucose getting changes. In a diabetic condition, it's just like our thermostats in our room is not working. So our air conditioning can be overpowered and then we can get really cold, but thermostats doesn't know. On the other side, the temperature can go really high, but thermostats doesn't know. We cannot turn on the air conditioning to cool it down. Hua Medicine has been developing dorsagliatin since uh, 2010. And then after 10 years of collaboration, we are now in the leading position of developing dorsagliatin as a Google sensor. Recently, we initiated our study in Hong Kong, outside mainland China. In those patient population, we have identified a group of subjects. They respond to the dorsagliatin very well. The major effect in the clinic have been showing is can quickly reduce the blood glucose to the normal level. At the same time, some patients can restore from the drug treatment without using any drug to maintain the homeostasis. Then, through restoring the homeostasis, we can lead to the remission of the patients. Diabetes doesn't just take lives, it actually negatively impacts quality of life significantly. The economic burdens of type 2 diabetes are staggering. Um, not only the pharmaceutical sales for uh, lowering blood sugar, but the treatment of complications um, are immense. There's huge economic burden and resources um, on global uh, healthcare systems. In 2019 alone, 760 billion US dollars was incurred in type 2 diabetes treatment uh, globally. And that's expected to grow to 820 billion US dollar by 2030. The new approach must be safe, it must be efficacious, it must be accessible and affordable so that all countries could actually use it, not just wealthy nations who typically, unfortunately, um, get to use it first and then underserved countries uh, get to capitalize or use it later on. We must use all this science that we've accumulated um, over the last century or so since insulin was discovered to advance treatment of type 2 diabetes as opposed to just addressing um, its key symptom, which is high blood sugar. There are enough um, drugs out there 
to address blood sugar uh, levels that are high. Um, we have very good, safe, and effective drugs that do that. What we need to do now is take an advance forward and actually address the root cause and see if we can stop this degenerative progressive nature of type 2 diabetes and potentially even reverse or prevent. Once we do that, we can actually save a lot of costs. We can actually save lives and improve quality of life. We believe through the deep investigation and understanding of the cause of the disease, we can come up with new concept and address the diabetes in human. It is ambitious, but it's achievable.